The mystery surrounding the discovery of strange items in a container imported into the country through the port of Mombasa last week has deepened after citizen television learned that the cargo belongs to a vocal politician from the Nyanza region. A senior police officer leading the investigation said the politician, who once served as an assistant minister in the last regime, has been summoned to explain the purpose of importing the items. Mostly horror costumes that include artificial skeletons, largely skulls and severed limbs, which some say could be paraphernalia associated with devil worshipping, but which others point out resemble those used during Halloween in this month of October. Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner of Customs Beatrice Memo said the agent who cleared the consignment has gone underground after Kerry established that items listed in verification documents were not corresponding with what was found in the container. If he had brought them for display or for some movies, as some people have been saying, then he should have made a proper declaration to say that these are things for movies. Maybe I want to stage a movie. Carey, on its part, wants the import of the cargo to show up and explain the failure to disclose the real contents of the container in the declaration form. The discovery of the consignment caused jitters among locals who felt that the cargo was indicative of possible satanic worship in the country. If we get the importer, we'll want him to tell us why he did a misdeclaration. Because the documents that were prepared indicated that these were household goods, they were electronics, they were fridges, and when we opened the container, at the, uh, at the door of the container was a sofa set. But as we moved further inside, we found cartons. The items bear resemblance to those used in Halloween celebrations. With Halloween slated for October 31st, the cargo may have been destined for use at Halloween party in parts of the country. Chris Songombe, Sunday Live.